Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about building machine learning models in MemSQL. The MemSQL Spark Connector allows us to push down data frame operations as SQL into the MemSQL database, leveraging its speed and scale. So let's jump right in. Here I have a Jupyter Notebook where I'm going to train and test a model using a popular TPCH dataset using Spark and MemSQL. So first, I'm just going to set my environment variable to tell Spark to reference the MemSQL Spark connector. I'll then go down and instantiate a Spark session. And then I'm simply going to connect to MemSQL. As you'll see here, MemSQL is sitting on the same machine as Spark is. And I'll put in my username, password, and tell MemSQL to disable all pushdown. Now I'm going to run my query on the MemSQL table. You'll see the Table is tpch.lineItem. I select my columns and how much data I want. Then I'll select my feature columns, which essentially means what columns I'm going to use to predict my outcome. I'll then split my data with train and test set to both train my model as well as validate. So the next step is to go ahead and actually train this model. But before we do that, let's jump into MemSQL Studio and do a bit of resource usage profiling to see what MemSQL is actually doing during this process. Welcome back. So it looks like the model took a little under two minutes to train. That's not bad. Let's see what happened in MemSQL Studio. Hmm, it looks like MemSQL simply has a select star from the table that took up 60% of my CPU almost. That doesn't seem very efficient. Let's see how we can make that faster. But first, let's go ahead and test this model and validate that it's going to work for us. Welcome back. It looks like the model test portion took another one minute and 40 seconds. So let's go ahead and assemble our final data set that's going to put the predicted values together. We can also validate that we have a good model here. The 0.86 R squared seems sufficient for now. Now, what we'll do is go ahead and look at our final data set. Welcome back. Now we have a full data set with the predictions. So this is the predicted column in addition to the original columns that we used to make that prediction. Now this is great. We have a model that it took a few minutes to build. Let's see how we can do it faster. Now I have an identical Jupyter notebook with the exception that one line is different. Here I have disable pushdown equal to false, which means all Spark data frame operations within this Jupyter Notebook will get translated into SQL and executed with high performance and excellent concurrency into the database. Let's see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and instantiate the Spark session again. I will make that same database connection, but note that disable pushdown is false. Same query. Same features, same method of splitting my training and testing sets. And now we're back to training the model. Before we train the model, let's yet again go to MemSQL Studio and start profiling the resource usage. Let's go ahead and start training the model. Welcome back. Wow. The model took only 29 seconds to train this time. Let's go into MemSQL Studio to see what happened. So now as you can see, the queries look much different in MemSQL this time. MemSQL is actually executing the exact queries that we're running in the Jupyter Notebook with the limits on the data set while training the model to make sure that this is as optimal as possible. And we can see that it is optimal here. The CPU percentage usage is 
a lot less than it was the last time. So let's go through and test the model as well. Again, excellent performance. Testing the model only took 13.4 seconds this time, as opposed to nearly two minutes last time for both steps. We can go ahead and assemble the predictions, get our R squared value. It is very similar to the last one that we had. So we created just as optimal a model here with push down versus no push down, but we've just done it a lot faster. Now we can see our predictions. The model is the same, but we got to it a lot faster. In summary, the MemSQL Spark Connector gives users a way to quickly and efficiently get data from MemSQL to build and test predictive models.